Hey guys, this is a quick and quick and dirty review on the Blue Eddy um, EB150 by Maxo. Um, my wife and I, uh, we've got a cabin, off-grid cabin, out in the middle of the timber. That, long story short, we needed we needed a way to get some sort of power out there, and this is what we ended up with, and we're really we're really happy with it. Um, just to get into it here. Um, Go ahead and turn it on. You got uh, your main on switch. You can turn your DC and your AC on separately. Um, not sure if you can read the display here or not. You can see your DC output and your AC output separately. Uh, that's kind of nice. I mean, we typically are using the AC. Um, but it kind of gives you an idea of you know what you're pulling, how long you might have to run your typical loads. Um, we run like typically uh, three three lights, a ceiling fan, and a TV, and we've run that for 12 hours, and we haven't gotten I don't think we've gotten below this bottom bar. We probably haven't run it under 25%. Um, so it, it it will last pretty long. It's a 1500 um, watt hour battery. Well, on the front here, um, you got four, four five volt USB ports. Um, you also have a 45 watt um, USB C port for charging a laptop or something. Uh, you have a 12 volt um, cigarette lighter um, plug. Um, I think I think that tests at like 12.2 or 12.3, but it's regulated, so it doesn't matter what your your uh, your battery level is at. Um, you should have constant voltage in that. Um, so you should maintain, you know, good operation of whatever you've got plugged in there. Uh, your input here, this is rated at 16 to 60 volts and 10 amps. Um, I'll show you that in a minute for charging. Uh, on the back side, uh, you've got your fan and then two, just two normal um, 110 volt AC outlets. Um, these are rated at a thousand watts and we we actually oh, I'm sure somebody will critique this but this this is actually how we but more or less plug our cabin in uh, everything's Romex which is then uh, tied to a 12 gauge extension cord that we plug straight into this um, since we're not really running all that much um, except for you know a few lights, fan, and a TV, um, we don't ever have any issues. But I'm sure somebody would say we're going to burn the place down. Works for us. Uh, anyway, I'll show you. Go ahead and plug it in. If you check the back of the charger here, it actually says um, you get 42 volts, 4 amps, which would equal 168 watts, which is actually pretty close to what we get. We're normally between uh, 160 and 170 when we charge it with just a normal receptacle. All right, as you can see, we got it plugged in charger now. Not sure if you can see that we're at about about 160 watts uh, it's pretty typical uh, we, we've never had it all the way down to the point where it's dead um, but like I said I think we've had it down around 25 percent and it's normally taken about six six to eight hours for us to charge it at 160 watts plugged in just to your wall outlet um, you can get quicker charge times uh, if you hook solar panels up to it under the right conditions. Um, I've seen some videos of people that were, you know, had panels hooked up. They were getting 300 plus watts. Um, we we personally we we bought two um, 12 volt 100 watt panels. Um, we do hook those up from time to time. We're we're in the middle of the timber, so we don't get the best sun. Uh, our best opportunities for good sun but when when we did um, get some decent sun you know 
little little windows that we get. Uh, we were getting just just around 100 watts, which which was enough for us to you know kind of. I mean, most of the time we're not using more than 100 output at any given time, so it it definitely helped us out. This does have over temperature protection. Um, when it's charging, sometimes it it will uh, it will turn off. You could you could probably hear the fan going right now. That fan uh, turns on as soon as you start charging it. But if it gets if it gets too hot, it will stop charging for a while, let it cool down before it resumes charging again. We'll do a quick test here. I've got got a random orbital sander here. We'll plug this in and and see how it works. Plug it in the back to one of the 110 volt outlets. We'll turn it on here. Uh, you, you can probably see right there, that was pulling about 200 watts. Uh, no problem whatsoever. Uh, we'll try something. Try something a little heftier here. Got the wife's nice purple hair dryer. We'll give that a shot. Wait in back here. Yeah, there, there we go. We, we're up to 700. 715 watts. 715 watts there, and that was on uh, that was on warm and the low fan setting. Um, see what happens. See what happens if we turn it on to the high fan setting. So we're about 750 there, uh, still on warm. I'm guessing if we uh, if we put it up on hot and turn it up on high, I'm guessing we'll probably get to, uh, uh, we'll overload it, it's my guess. Well, we'll go ahead and try that, see what happens. Yep, there we go. We got uh, error code. 13, so look that up in the book here. Air code 13, overload protection. So it did its job, but it it will power a hair dryer. Um, you just may not be able to run it on the hottest setting. Uh, like I said, I had, had this on high and, and on the warm setting and we were at like 750 watts, it ran that no problem. So. Um, I think I think I mentioned before, uh, this, it's got a 1500 watt hour lithium battery. Uh, and this is, it is a pure sign inverter, so you, you could uh, plug in your sensitive electronics and you don't have to worry about harming them. It's got a thousand watt inverter, um, as we mentioned before. Uh, which is pretty evident of the overload overload protection that we got um, over over a thousand watts. Uh, all in all, uh, we're really happy with this. Uh, it's it's done everything we've needed it to do. I think the display the display is real nice. I I really like to know what we're pulling at any given time. You can do a little math and kind of figure out you know how long it's going to last. Um, based upon what you're getting on your readout. Um, it's really, compared to a lot of the others on the market, it's actually, it's pretty affordable. It's got a, a faster time, charge time than, than most other models on the market. And uh, this, the 12 volt is regulated. Uh, they don't all have that, so that, that's nice. So you can continue using that until your battery is dead with, with no, no problems. All in all, this is a pretty nice, pretty nice unit. Um, it is, it is a little heavy. I mean, 
It's got a nice uh, aluminum case on it. Um, and that battery, I'm sure, weighs pretty considerable amount. I believe it together weighs 38 pounds, uh, but it does have a nice carrying handle. Whatever, whatever you could use it for, whether you're going camping and you need, need a source of power or you're going to a flea market and you need to hook something up to power or what, whatever it may be, it, it, uh, it'll really do, do the job most of the time. The, the, only, the only downside to it I could see is kind of witnessed with the hair dryer. I, uh, I wish it had a little bit higher of a surge capacity at a thousand watts. Uh, I think the goal is zero. I think you get to 1500 on that. So it, it, it could be better in that respect, but uh, generally speaking for most everything you're gonna use this for, it, uh, I mean, it really, it really does the job. Uh, one thing I should mention, uh, we bought ours on Amazon and uh, I was in contact with them. Um, they, every time I contacted them, they got back to me within 24 hours. I contacted them um, prior to receiving the unit and then again afterwards. And uh, they were very, very kind and got back with us, like I said, within 24 hours. Um, they do provide a warranty card. Uh, you get a one year warranty. Uh, I'm not super familiar with Max Oak. I, can't say you know how well they'd really stand behind this but I do know at the time um, they were offering a one-year warranty extension if you would leave a review on Amazon I don't know if they're still doing that or not uh, maybe something to check into um, but yeah I'll have a link down below if you're interested there may be a coupon code I can't guarantee it uh, check down below though uh, we'll have links for the solar panels we used as well, um, the cables, uh, basically everything uh, to get you set up and going. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos uh, about our cabin living, uh, click the subscribe button and smash the like button. And visit our website at mycabinliving.com. And feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. Let me know. And thanks for watching.